Okay, here are a pair of 242 um, C's that I just picked up. I'm right now on a camping trip and I grabbed a handful of lanterns and brought them with me. And these are two that I just picked up and they had just got shipped from two different people, but I got them on the same day, the day before my camping trip. So I'm gonna pull these apart and see what's going on with them and see if we get them fired up. Thanks. Okay, what I've done is took in the first 242C apart. As you can see, it's pretty grungy in here. Um, I used a little bit of tubbo rags. Just cleaned it up a little bit. Cleans it nicely. Got a nice solvent to it. I like it. Okay, the first of the 242s had a bad generator. I'm going to take that apart and look a little closer, but the needle, you can see it's frozen into place. So I robbed the one off the second one, and we're going to um, work on this one a little bit later. So anyways, it seems to work good. It pumps up nicely. Inside the tank was a little bit of rusty, but I flushed it out as good as I could, and I put a new mantle on it, and as you can see, we're getting pretty close to sundown, so come around that point, I think I'll fire this sucker up. Let's move on to the second one. The second of the 242Cs, it looks a lot cleaner. It looks like there's been some leaking around here. And like I said, I had to rob the generator, so we're gonna see what's going on with that. So let me pull this thing apart and see what it looks like inside. All right, moving on to the second 242C. This one is pretty clean on the inside. Uh, I had to steal a generator from the pile of used generators because like I said, I robbed this one for another one. Anyways, like, uh, you know, it's leaking around the valve a little bit. It looked like it just needed a little tightening. I think I got the valve leaking under control. The tank was really clean. The fuel looked good. So I'm just gonna fire it off with the existing fuel. You know, once sunset gets a little closer and we'll be rocking a pair of 242Cs. Stay tuned. Okay, the lighting isn't the best, but you can tell um, the 242B in the center is actually seafoam fo sea green. I'm trying to get my shadow out of here. It's nearly sunset here at Halama Beach, so it's tough getting the right shot at the right angle. But you can give a good look at what a Canadian seafoam green looks like. These are all 46 or 47s. Uh, the two on the outer ends are USA 242Cs. The one in the center is the 242B out of Canada. Okay, now I've added another one of my favorite lanterns, the 243. There's something about these 240 series that I really like. I mean, they're just so compact and small, even compared to the 201As. Yeah, I like their size compared to that. Like I said, the 201As. Here's my November of 51 Christmas Lantern, which is a 200A. And you can see it's quite chunky compared to this one. I wish I had a 228 or 220 to compare it with as well. But like I said, I really like these small little compact 242 series. Shadows are getting kind of tough because it's so close to sundown. As you can see, there's a going to be a nice little sunset going. And I hope to fire these off right on time. Okay, as you can see, the sun is setting behind me. And it's time to light off a couple of lanterns here at Halama Beach. So let's see how we do. Let's start with the February of 1947, 242. That I just picked up the other day. <clears throat> 
Now let's move over to the other 242. This one is a 6 of 47. This is an A of 1947 Canadian Seafoam Green. The last one is a 1937 243. It's a little hard to light because it's getting pretty windy. And it doesn't look like the 243 is going to light. It's been a while for that one. <laughs> 